Welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how you can import an image into your app. So either how you can import or let the user import an image from their photo library, or how you can let the user take a picture and then drag that picture into your app and use it for whatever you like within reasons. So if that is something you want to know how to do, just keep watching this video and I will show you how to do exactly that. We start by creating a new Xcode project and as you know, we just start double tap right here. Make, no, let's see, make it a single view application, next. And I'm just going to call it my image importer. Make sure that the language is set to Swift and if that's the case, just click next. I'm gonna save it on my desktop and I'm just going to jump straight to the storyboard and start laying out our app. Let's see, make it full screen. And I'm just going to make the size of an iPhone SE. Also make the simulator an iPhone SE so that we're ready to simulate when that time has arrived. So let's see, we first, what our app is going to do is it's going to enable the user to import an image and then display the user image on the user interface. So we need a place where we can display the image just like this. I'm just going to make it an aspect fit and we also need a button that the user can click in order to import the image. Let's see, I'm going to make mine wide, have a nice background color. It's going to be blue and the text is going to be white. There we go. And it's going to say import image. That is all we need as a user interface and we're just going to make sure that we drag in all our elements. So uh, my image view, and then we're going to create the action that's tied to our button. And I'm just going to call it import image. Make sure that it's an action. And if that's the case, just click connect. And so that we have a bit more space, I'm going to go over to the view controller and do the rest of this tutorial in our view control almost. I'm going to show you uh, what other things we have to do, but um, we'll take that when the time is right to take that. So I'm going to say, I'm going to add some delegates, so UI navigation controller delegate and the UI image controller delegate. That's the delegates that we need. And now I'm going to start to fill in our button action and I'm going to create an image, not an image, but a UI image picker controller. So this, this one is going to handle all the stuff with uh, giving the user the opportunity to pick an image. It's going to handle the process of doing that. I'm going to say image.delegate is equal to self. Then I'm going to say image.source type, and you can try to guess what this means. UI image picker uh, controller source type dot and here you see here we can choose between giving the user the option of either taking a photo or taking it from their photo library because the simulator can't simulate a camera we're just going to say photo library but as you see you can also choose camera and then the user will be able to take a picture and import it into the app. Then we're also going to say image dot allows editing and I'm going to set that to false for now. But of course you can set that to true, whatever you want to. Oh, what a nice rhyme. And then we're going to present the view controller. Uh, pre present, let's see, we're going to present this image view controller that we just created and let's see, animated is going to be true. That doesn't really matter, but whenever I can get something animated, I set it to true. And here we can write some code uh, after it is complete, but we don't need that right now. So we're just going to let it stand as it is. Then this, the last thing that we need as a piece of code in our view controller is the function that is called when the user has picked the image of their choosing. So we are now going to say func Im image picker controller it's going to be let's see if I can find it image picker 
it's going to be this one. The thing is that if we try to convert it to an image and there was an error with the image, we might get a crash. So what we first want to do is we want to check if we can convert it to an image. So we're going to say info and it's going to be an UI image picker controller. Let's say image picker controller original image to that one and then we are going to try the keyword here is try to convert it to an UI image we could that do that without if but if it does not work and we try to do it without an if statement we will get a crash so we first check if it is possible and if it is possible then we say my image view dot image image is equal to image so now we have set our image equal to the image that the user has picked. And if it does not work, we won't get a crash, but we can display an error message here if we want to do that. And then the last thing that remains is that we say that the view controller, our image view controller can, can now hide because we have all and everything that we want. So we say self.dismiss and we're going to set the animated to true and completion. We don't need to run any code at completion. And I will now, tr I will now run the code and see what we've got so far. Let's try to import the image. And as you can see, we've got a crash. And it is easy for me to say, but I actually knew this was going to happen. But it was because so I can show you how you can interpret these error messages and uh, do it on your own when I am not uh, doing a tutorial, how you can, you know, try and find a way. And as you can see, we can do that by reading the error message. The app's info.plist must contain an NS photo library usage description. A long word, but it is important if the app crashes because it is missing. So as you can see, info.plist is right here. And what we need to do is we need to add this message that pops up when we ask our user to import the image. And um, this can be whatever you like. I'm just going to say, your image is safe with me, bro. So I think that's, 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 that does the job. And let's try to launch it and see what happens now. So here is our app, let's try to import the image. And as you can see, we're being presented with the, with the string that we just wrote, your image is safe with me, bro. And I think that would compel the user to click OK. And now we can see the camera rolls, and I'm just going to pick this one, and it displays nicely in my image view. So that's how you import an image from your image library. If you want to do it with importing from a camera, you will have to add another um, thing here to your info.plist, another message, but else everything else is the same. Just to go over everything that we did, we added some delegates, we then created a button that every time it's pressed, it creates this uh, UI image picker controller, which handles all the stuff. Um, we then set the source type, the source of the image, uh, where this image should get the image from, and we set that to photo library. We set that the user won't be able to edit their image, so we set it to false, and then we presented the view control so that the user can pick an image. Then when they have clicked OK, I want this image, we call this function right here. And we try to convert this to an image, and if it works, we're going to put it into this variable here and set that as our image for our image view. And if it fails, we're just going to display an error here if we want to. And when the whole process is done, we hide the, the, the view controller that we uh, made appear in order to let the user pick an image. Hopefully you understand everything. Make sure, don't forget you have a comment section if there's anything more you want to know or have any questions about. Other than that, thank you for watching this video. Make sure that you subscribe so that you stay tuned for my latest and newest videos. And once again, thank you for watching.